So, wow, that's sending a lot of information about my computer to Microsoft. Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick. Today I've got a little bit of a tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how you can hack yourself and view all of the telemetry, all of the privacy invasion that's going on with Windows. So in order for this lab to happen, you need a couple things. If you want to follow along, you'll just need a Windows 11 virtual machine and a Kali Linux virtual machine. Uh, so let me show you how this actually works. So here we are on Windows. I'm just going to go to Settings and then pop over to Network. There it is. And then Proxy. Now we're going to edit the proxy that we're using, and you'll see this is the IP address of my Kali Linux server and the port that it's going to listen on. So what this is doing, basically, is it's taking all of your traffic, all of your network activity on Windows, and passing it through Kali. So obviously we need to do something on Kali so that it knows it needs to listen. Uh, so what we're going to do here is run a very simple command sudo mitm proxy, man in the middle proxy. So I'll just enter my password. Okay, and now let me just uh, pop this to one side. Then this can go to the other side. There we go. Okay, so let's start interacting with the computer and see what causes network traffic spikes. Okay, opening the start menu does not generate any traffic. Oh, closing it did. Okay, so a git request. Let's look at that. Okay, so we've got some information here identifying my computer, what it's using. Okay, let's see what this post request is about. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, wow. That's sending a lot of information about my computer to Microsoft. And all I did was open the Start menu. I opened the Start menu and immediately it's sending everything about my computer straight to Microsoft. Nice. Okay, well let's keep poking around and see what else generates network traffic. Now I would expect the Search menu to, because it's got these internet things right here, and yes, it does generate traffic. I want to see what these post requests are. Yeah, again, again, Windows sending all of this information about my computer to Microsoft. And I get that maybe some of this is necessary for the operation of Windows. Like, that's totally reasonable. Everything is internet connected these days, and I'm not, I'm not saying that Windows needs to be an offline platform. But this is, this is extraneous. This is too much. Like, again, it just keeps sending all of this information about my computer, and all I'm doing is clicking around. So something that I would expect to generate a ton of network traffic is the widgets menu. And sure enough, yes, it did generate a ton of network traffic. So let's see what this is. Oh yeah, it's sending all kinds of stuff to Microsoft. So that's like application activity. See what these are. Yeah, not, I mean, some of this looks pretty innocent. I mean, yeah, I, for this stuff, this stuff seems pretty innocent. I'm not too stressed about that. I mean, yeah, it is invasive. Like, it is collecting more information than it needs to. But, like, for the feature itself being an online feature, I'm not too pressed about that. Let's open the file browser. Okay, that did not generate any network traffic. What if I go to this PC? Okay. Okay, so I'm navigating around the file browser and it's not generating any network traffic. That, that's reassuring, at least. Now, that doesn't mean that Microsoft doesn't know what files you open. It just means they're not sending that information to the mothership right away. What if we create a new, f a new file? Let's just make a text document called test. And then let's add to the document the word test. Save that. Close notepad. That sent zero network traffic. That's good. Now, bear in mind, 
that this does not mean that Microsoft doesn't know about that activity. It just means that it's not getting reported to Microsoft right off the bat. But, I mean, that credit where it's due. Also, what is this? Why is there an ad for OneDrive in the file browser? They stuck an ad in the frickin' file path. That's so confusing. That's so rude. I honestly don't understand how people can use Windows. What if I go to some settings menus here? It's funny how often you'll be running Windows 11 and it'll be reported as Windows 10. Like, it's really not that different. Okay, so this is literally telling them what settings page I looked at. Why does Microsoft need to know what settings page I looked at? That's kind of weird. Anyway, you get the point. There's a lot of network activity going on here with Windows, and honestly, it doesn't need to be doing all of this. Like, I, I will say some of this is acceptable. Some of this is necessary. But look at this, bing.com, msn.com, msn.com. Let's see if there's any third parties in here. You know, credit where it's due, it's been maybe five minutes and they haven't sent anything to uh, a third party. So that, that could be a lot worse. Anyway, thank you for watching today's little video. Uh, my name is Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to make this for you. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yep, I will catch you in the next one.